everyone, welcome back to my channel. Brickell here with another video for you. In this video, I am going to teach you guys how to sew a hidden pocket. Now, hidden pockets are usually common in skirts, dresses, shorts, and some pants. So if you've ever wanted to add a hidden pocket to any of those garments, this is how you would go about doing that. So please follow my account for all sewing and fashion related videos. All right, you guys, in this video, I'm gonna go ahead and show you how to sew a hidden pocket. Now, this right here is a sample that I've made out of muslin, so you can just kinda see just a quick little example on what you are going to do. So I'm gonna go ahead and just kinda give you a quick rundown and then I will show you how to make it. So first what you're going to do is cut a total of four pocket bags, have two for the left side and two for the right side. And then your actual garment, you are going to sew one side at half of an inch and then the other side of the pocket bag half of an inch onto your garment and then go down half of an inch, stop at the top of your pocket bag, and then sew around the bag, and then stop at the bottom. You want to stitch up so the stuff that you put into your pocket doesn't fall out, and then continue sewing down half of an inch. And then another thing you want to keep in mind is you want some interfacing on only on the front side of your pocket to help stabilize it. So that way when you turn it over, it gives it that nice crease for you. So that's just a quick little rundown. I'll go ahead and show you with the garment that I am currently making. Okay, you guys. So the first stages on sewing your hidden pocket. And yeah, we got Princess here. She's going to help us sew. So you have your strip of interfacing and because I'm sewing with knit fabric I chose the appropriate interfacing for knit fabrics and my strip I did about, about an inch and a quarter I've decided to lower it an in or sorry two and a half inches and I'll go ahead and press that and then this is on the inside of the fabric, by the way. Okay, you guys, so the next step after you put on your strip of interfacing, you get the pocket bag and sew right sides together, like I have right here. I'm gonna just go ahead and sew this at half of an inch. And you can do whatever, you can sew it at five eighths or quarter whatever your measurement is I'm just gonna do it at half of an inch and I'm gonna do the same with the back side so the pocket bag and then either the front or back right sides together okay you guys so after you have um, pressed your strip of interfacing only on the front and then sewed on the pocket bags on the front and back side you'll go ahead with right sides together pin around the pocket bag and you know going down the garment as well let me hurry and pin that for you really quick um and then what you'll go ahead and do is i'm gonna sew half of an inch and then the other thing is you want your seams to go towards the pocket bag on the front and back because we are going to be sewing on top of it and then later clipping that. So go ahead, I'm gonna sew half of an inch. You can do whatever seam allowance you want, five eighths, a quarter, whatever is best for you. I'm just gonna do half of an inch. And then since I see my seam allowance right there, I'm going to try and sew on top of that. I'm going to keep my needle down. I'm going to pivot to where I see half of an inch. And then go ahead and sew all along my pocket bag.
and stop pivot. And then continuing at half of an inch, so all the way down to finish your garment. Don't forget to back stitch, clip, and then I'll go ahead and take out my pins. Okay, you guys, I apologize. My fabric is black, so I'm sure it was hard to see where you clip it so this is the back of the pocket and right here how i stitched down and then i stopped kept my needle down and pivot you want to clip right there in the back and then on the bottom you can clip all the way through to help your pocket um kind of move around more and then if you want, you can clip in the front up here. You don't necessarily have to clip as much in the front because it's going to be laying in the front. But those are the places where you want to clip. And then the other thing I wanted to mention is you want to stitch about an inch and a half to about two inches up on the bottom to close your pocket. So whenever you put stuff in your pocket, it won't fall out. Now what you're going to do is you're kind of going to feel for the bulkiness of the pocket and the seam allowance. You can either push everything back and then close it sewing next to the ditch or you can sew in in the ditch. So you just want to make sure that your pocket on the inside of that seam isn't like sticking out and it's nice and neat. But go ahead and stitch that closed and then I'll show you what it will look like so this is sorry it's kind of hard to tell I'll pull it out all the way okay so this is my pocket right here and then that's where like I closed the pocket and then have, if you notice it's a clean seam I just got to kind of get rid of some threads but the pocket bag isn't sticking out of those seams so now I have this perfect pocket and then I'm going to go ahead and press it down to make it more crisp but I can feel that interfacing to give it more structure and yeah so there is your pocket you guys all right you guys and that is how you would go about sewing a hidden pocket to your garments if you have enjoyed this video please give me a thumbs up i'd really appreciate that and do not forget to subscribe to my channel especially if you are interested in learning how to sew and just wanting to learn all things fashion um, i have received my degree in fashion design and technical apparel so i have been sewing for quite some time and i would love to be your resource to learn how to sew I have a new collection coming in, in September, so please stay tuned for that. And if you guys have any other sewing questions or if you need help, please send me a message over on my email at designerbrookells at gmail.com or you can send me a message over on my Instagram. So yeah, and if there's anything else, um, if there's something you guys want me to make you, just send, again, send me a message. So. Thank you so much for watching this video. I appreciate you guys and I hope you have a great week. Bye.